Hi, Nurse Ada. Can I ask you a question? Sure, Jenny. How does the heart work? The heart is a muscular organ that pumps blood throughout your body. Ooh, cool. Can you explain more? Okay, I will explain to you how it works. Thank you. So here we go. The heart is a muscular organ. It is made up of muscle called cardiac muscle. This muscle is responsible to make the heart contract. It is an organ. It means a group of tissues that work together to perform a specific function. This function is pumping blood throughout the body to supply oxygen and nutrients to the tissues and removing carbon dioxide and other wastes. The tissues of the body need a constant supply of nutrition in order to be active. So therefore, heart is very important. There are four chambers of the heart, two chambers on the upper and two chambers at the bottom. The two upper chambers are called atria. The lower chambers are ventricles. Take note, atrium and atria are the same. Atrium means one chamber. Atria refers to the two chambers. Next, we will discuss about the valves of the heart. The heart also has four valves. The tricuspid valve is located on the right side of the heart, between the right atrium and right ventricle. The valve serves like the gates of the heart to prevent regurgitation. Regurgitation is a medical term that we use. Regurgitation means backward flowing of blood. So once the blood reaches to the right ventricle from the right atrium, the valve closes so the blood will not backflow. Then we will go to the next valve. The next valve is the pulmonary valve. It is the valve between right ventricle and the pulmonary artery. The next valve is the mitral valve. Mitral valve is located between left atrium and left ventricle. Then the last valve is the aortic valve. It is the valve between left ventricle and the aorta. Take note, all these parts and structures of the heart that I mentioned are all important. It's because they function as a group. Each of them has a role in the contraction and delivering blood to the body, so listen very carefully. Now I will explain to you how the heart contracts. The heart has electrical system, like your television at home. Before it works, there should be a source of electricity. And the uniqueness of the heart is that it can work automatically using its own cells in the heart muscle. The heart muscle of the heart, which we call it myocardium, has two major types of cardiac muscle cells, the myocardial contractile cells and myocardial conducting cells. The myocardial contractile cells are responsible for contractions. It pumps the blood through the body. On the other hand, the myocardial conducting cells initiate the conduction system. This electrical signal begins in the SA node or sinoatrial node located at the top of the right atrium. The SA node sends the electrical impulses that start the heartbeat. 
The electrical signal from the SA node will make the atria contracts and empties the blood towards the right ventricle. Next, the AV or atrioventricular node delays the signal until the atria are empty of blood. Once the atria are empty of blood, the tricuspid valve will close. At this point, the atria begin to refill and the electrical stimulus passes through the bundle of his. The bundle of his carries the signal to the Purkinje fibers. The Purkinje fibers then stimulates the ventricles to contract. As the ventricles contract, the right ventricle pumps blood to the lungs, passing the pulmonic valve, goes to the pulmonary artery, then into the lungs. In the lungs, carbon dioxide is released and oxygen is absorbed. After the blood is oxygenated by the lungs, the blood passes the pulmonary vein, then reaches the left ventricle. The left ventricle is powerful pump. It can pump the blood out into the aorta, passing the aortic valve. Once the blood goes out from the aortic valve, some of the blood go to the coronary arteries to supply the heart with oxygenated blood, while others go to the systemic circulation to supply the tissues with oxygen. At this point, the ventricles are empty, the atria are full, and the valves between them are closed. Next, the SA node will release another electrical stimulus, and this process will repeat again and again. And every time the SA node releases a stimulus, it completes one cycle or a heartbeat. The conducting system provides the heart its automatic rhythmic beat for the heart to pump efficiently. The cardiac muscle cells perform highly coordinated actions that keep the heart pumping and blood circulating throughout the body. The cycle repeats again and again. The next topic will be the walls of the heart. The heart wall consists of three layers, the endocardium, myocardium, and epicardium. The endocardium is the thin membrane that lines the interior of the heart. It lines the inner surfaces of the heart chambers, including the heart valves. The myocardium is the middle layer of the heart. It is the heart muscle and is the thickest layer of the heart. It contains the contractile elements of the heart. The epicardium is a thin layer on the surface of the heart in which the coronary arteries lie. The pericardium is a thin sac that protects the heart. It produces a small amount of fluid to lubricate the heart 
and keep it from rubbing against other organs in the chest, such as the lungs. The heart is amazing. Yes, Jenny, the heart is an amazing organ. For more videos, press subscribe in our YouTube channel and follow us in Facebook. Thank you for your support.